All right, guys, what's up? Dark Visor here. I just got off work. That's why I'm still dressed up. I need to get to my gaming shirt. Um, I also just got off the phone with a lender because I'm trying to buy a house. So, you know, that's been super stressful lately. Um, and honestly, that's why I haven't made many videos just as many as I usually do. I'm trying to keep it up, but um, besides grad classes, this has been a really big stressful event is trying to buy a house. I mean, I have a, a nice apartment right now, but I want to get an actual house to finally own something, you know. You don't need one, but if you're going to be paying, you know, as much as I do for an apartment, you know, I want to kind of be able to say I own this after so many years instead of saying, oh, I've been paying, you know, several thousand dollars a year, and when I leave here, I'm not going to own anything. I've just been throwing money at somebody else. But, um, you know, so I've been working on that, you know, and hopefully if I do get the house, I can get one big enough so I can actually set up a gaming room. So I can actually, when I do videos, I will have a room dedicated to just gaming instead of just this apartment where it's kind of like, I'm doing this in my living room right now. When I get a house, I can have a, actually have a gaming room, have a gaming background, all that good stuff, you know. Um, and of course, you know, bedroom and living room, all that good. But anyway, in the Nintendo Direct today, I've been trying so hard to avoid news. I haven't been able to go on any website since I was at work today. Um, I had one thing sort of spoiled for me. I'm going to come ahead and go ahead and say it. It was Mario Maker. I kind of saw that, but I'm happy. I never got to play it and I've always wanted to play Mario Maker. I was not gonna buy a Wii U for that. The Wii U, I just didn't care for that system. Um, I have one actually, but it was just I like collecting systems. I did not care for that system at all. Um, but yeah, so that's the only thing I've seen. Um, I tried to keep a blind eye to everything else, but uh, we're gonna jump straight into this. I'm using my OBS to record me, and I have never done it this way. I'm doing a desktop recording, so it should capture everything. And um, I believe it would capture desktop audio also, but um, I just want to check and see if it does. Um, I don't see, yeah, it's capturing desktop audio, so we're going to turn that down a little bit because it's a little loud, and go with it. Let's see what's announced. Let's see what good things are showing off. You know, um, yeah, let's get right into it. I don't know what to expect. Let's go. And it's very loud. I'm gonna turn it down here too. Yeah, I, I saw, I knew this was coming. So I'm happy about this. I, I like this. That's his own fault. Mario kind of glitched in there, buddy. Wait. Oh, it's a sequel. Okay, I did not. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought it was literally just a port. So that's actually kind of has me excited. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited by that now. I thought it was just a, uh, a, a port of the original game. But this is just as good. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I've seen some of the dumb stuff you can do in this game, so I really look forward to this. I've seen some of the dumb stuff in God levels people make. Okay, June... Not bad, you know. Okay. Hi everyone. I'm here okay, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to that. Actually, that's gonna be pretty good. Um, like I said, I like how they bow. I love Japan. They're just so formal, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I've been like I said, I want to play that game. I really wish it would be so cool if they had like Mario 64 levels in there. I know that be would be too crazy. But just imagine making your own Mario 64 stage. That'd be so awesome. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Wait, is he the one that does the snap? Or is it the other guy? Oh, he does the snap. Okay, I honestly don't care about Marvel Ultimate Alliance. 
that was shown a while back. Um, it looks a little cleaner in this. It looks a little cleaner, but I never cared for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. They, you know, I love Marvel. I know all the characters in this right here, but I just never cared for the game. Well, it has online play. I can't, I can't you know. Captain Marvel's not a new character in Nintendo, you know. She's been around for a while, you know. I may look into that because I always said I wanted more Nintendo games that had online features because you live by yourself, you don't have friends to sit around play, local play with, you know. Um, I just wanted to fix the voice chat, you know. It looks like he's pooping out boxes, honestly. Like he's struggling to poop out a box. Look at him. Box girl. He looks like he's pooping out br bricks, is honestly what he looks like he's doing. I've never played this game, so I don't know much about it. Um, I mean, if somebody wants me to play it, I'll play it, but I've never seen it before. Funny ears. You know. <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. What are we adding, you ask? I'm about to say, what are you adding? You'll just have to wait to find out. Well, you don't answer anything for me, do you? Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. Okay. Course, this year, springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget, new Super Smash Brothers. I want to know who the other characters are, because Nintendo said they know who they are. I, I want to know who the other characters are. I never cared. I never cared for uh, Toad too much, you know. Okay, character. I just never cared for him. Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous if someone had his side. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later today, and some paid downloadable content is coming. We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. Sunken ship to a kingdom of sweets and achieving new objectives in existing courses. Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving you early access to one of the courses. I guess I've never, I've never played Toad, so it's like. If you don't have the game yet, look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. It contains the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode once it's available. Okay. Feel yourself for old school action. Okay, bloodstain. I know Wave Forward is still working on this, and as y'all remember from the guy, anybody who watched my old video of me playing through the like the demo for backers, this game needed a lot of work. So I'm hoping that Wave Forward helped them some, um, because they they needed some work. Her her attacking was super slow, but it looks much better right here. For some, it looks much better. Um. Okay, their mouths still move kind of dumb. 
Changing hair color is not decustomization, Nintendo. Like I said, anybody who watched my backer video knows that that game needed some work. I'm hoping they fixed it. That looked much better than what we've seen, but I'm still hoping they fixed the things that were, you know. Okay, I kind of like, like the first Dragon Builders game. It was interesting, you know. Basically Minecraft with Dragon Quest, basically. But... It was fun, but I got bored really fast. It it was really slow, honestly. I'm sure late game it got better, but it's one of those things. If you don't catch me within the first like seven hours, I'm I'm not gonna keep playing. Like I think I sold it back actually. Um, no, I bought it on PlayStation. Somebody sent me a message on YouTube. Somebody wants a PDF or something. I'm guessing it's Shantae related. I don't have to see after the video. I get that a lot. You guys asked me for PDF. What? We have a new announcement for the Fast Classic RPG series. Please take a look. What the hell was that sound? I know I've heard that someone before. What was that? Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I didn't know that sound. Really? There is darkness. Yes, the most classically used quote in any game series. Where there is light, there is darkness. You know, um, you know, it's like where there is white bread, there is dark bread. Where there is white meat, there is dark meat. You know. Like when I go to Popeyes, you want white meat? No, I want dark meat, you know? <laughs> that joke didn't go anywhere, I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy reading is so cheesy. He's So basic RPG stuff, we know this, you know. Probably going to cut trim some of this video down just to get to the good bits, because I can see myself being quiet for a lot of this, because it's just them talking. So, you know. All right, I came back. Let's see what else is going on. I will look forward to learning more. I will, I will look forward to learning more. What the heck is a Tsum Tsum? I don't know what a Tsum Tsum is. I mean, I can see it's like a little plush toy, but man, what, what's the appeal behind it? They look like hot dogs. They look like miniature hot dogs. That may be what it means in Japanese. I don't know. Hot dog. They look like miniature hot dogs. Wow. So this game is not canon because Porky's dead. I feel like the only reason anybody bought this game is because Star Fox. Like, seriously. I've heard nobody talk about this game. Um, I've seen, like, two people come to GameStop in the days I've been there asking for, like, the exclusive ships. I've never seen anybody talk about this game, except for Star Fox parts. Um, but this is not a canon game, then, is it? Because, um, unless it's a prequel. Because Porky died in Star Fox Assault um, on the GameCube. So, yeah, he's, this is not canon. He, he's dead and all that good stuff. And 
What is this? Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Warning. Is this sword art? No, that, not sword art. Uh, what is this? For some reason, I want to say Rune Factory. I was going to say Secret of Mana for some reason. I don't know why. Um, lovers? Whoa! Whoa, buddy. You can tell a girl. Whoa, man. Whoa, buddy. You getting married? <laughs> Woo. I'm happy then because, you know, I'm still single. You know, get me a wife. Maybe have 15 kids. I don't know. You know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and what? I can see five. It's no secret when you can see half the label in there. You, know? you can see the whole like curve of five in there. It's like, it's not a surprise. Oninaki? I hope I said that right. We'll see. So basically, Tumblr users. So it's basically using people as Pokemon. I got it right. I'm happy for myself. Oh my. I never played this series. It looks interesting. I just... You know, I just never really, I like Yoshi as a character. I just never been behind the whole, like, yarn games, you know. But it looks interesting. This looks like cardboard, not yarn, sorry. But he looks yarn. I'm not going to buy a Labo just to get a costume. You might as well forget that. Okay, so it is still a yarn game. I'm not going to buy a, a, that for that. Look at my Kingdom Hearts controller. So pretty. Look at it. See it? Metroid! Yes! Show gameplay! Yes, I won't fire emblem. Yes, show gameplay. I don't want to cut scene. Oh, is this anime? Ooh. Don't be English. Please don't be English dubs. Be Japanese. It's English. I don't know. He told me he was going to show gameplay. Well, he didn't say that, but I hope he is. I love fire emblem. Is this the intro? I don't care about this. I mean, I, I want to know the story, but I want to get the game. I want to watch the story right now. Fargus sounds familiar. Okay, yeah, that's... What's that over there in the corner? That that thing by the train track. I, I want to know what that kingdom is. It's Ala Ala. What's that sign that says Mofo? Mor Morpho. I don't know who I picked. The girl looks cute. I kind of want to play as her. Oh, 
you'll travel to Barrack Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Okay. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Tempest, who appears within the night. Flat-chested witch! <laughs> Stay away from me! These games always have some evil purpose. Good God! How big are her hips? Okay, maybe not as big as I thought, but good God, they look huge! Like, God! I like lions and eagles. I don't want to be a deer. Why do other people shoot deer? I don't want to be a deer. I'm probably going to be eagles. Deer is going to have to really surprise me for me to pick deer. No. If I had a better jawline and it was like six shades lighter, I could probably cosplay him in the convention. <laughs> Eagles. Maybe blue lines. I don't care about deer. Students are expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the knights of Saros themselves, and gain real battle experience. Including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellion. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. Oh god, it's gonna be what they do it like you lose your character forever? I hope not. with their future and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. I'll do my best. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. I like how that horse just ran through that dragon. <laughs> That dragon's kind of like, what are y'all doing? Trying to commit suicide? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm happy. Complete with art sounds. I hate sound selections because it's not the full game. Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. Yes. But more development time will be needed. Oh, they pushed. Okay, they, they pushed it back. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to next generation of Fire Emblem. As long as it comes out this year, don't do like Metroid and cancel it. You know, don't don't do like Metroid and cancel the whole thing and say you're starting over from scratch. In this next entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. Ninety-nine players. But only one reigns supreme. This is Tetris ninety-nine. Ah. I cannot play Tetris. I can play it, but I cannot play competitive Tetris. It is insane, you know. Nintendo Switch online members can battle for dominance in this free to download game. Well, it's free. I, I might as well download it then. Pack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. Nintendo 
Switch Online member. Oh god, it's a battle royale Tetris game? Tetris 99 will be available for download later today. Wow. Well, I know a few people who are going to run wild with that. I'm going to be the, like the 80th person to lose, you know. <laughs> Whoa, Death by Daylight for Switch. Switch is much different than the days. This is much different than the Switch, the uh, we 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 days. Okay, I know the graphics don't look great on other systems, but they look even worse on the Switch. Sadly. I want every little kid in the world who owns a Switch to buy this game so I can run rampant on their sorry tails and kill them in this game. <laughs> I want every little kid to buy this game for Halloween so I can just tear them to pieces. Cause I play this, I play this game a lot, you know, and I can, I can, I can down teams when I don't get greedy, you know, at times, you know, there are some good players out there, but I can, I have down entire teams, you know, um, and thankfully I haven't played with many kids, but knowing the Switch audience, I want to s just destroy them, you know. <laughs> what is... I see a dog. I see lots of dogs. Lots of dogs. I don't know what that is. Uh, I can't. I, I can't get excited for that. Yes. Oh man, I definitely want this. Until we get a Armored Core game, I definitely want this. I'm not going to try to pronounce this name. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm about to go download that right now. We about to download that right now. If you're asking why this is in the floor, I've been playing Pokemon. We are about to download this now. Oh my god, my bag is about to die. Um, I'm pretty sure I saved already. Um, oh god, hang on. We are about to download this. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking right now. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh my god, my internet settings are not right right now. Oh my god, please hang on. Um, how the heck is I'm about to download this. I've been waiting for this. Oh! Should be launching this summer. With that in mind, the development team is working harder. Racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Grid Auto Sport comes fully loaded with a mix of high I'll stick to I'll stick to fours uh you know one game's enough. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Is that it for the How's everything looking? Okay, we still got five minutes, the party shows and else. Okay. I was gonna say, is that it? Because the only thing surprise only thing that's really got me happy is uh the the mech game and um what is this? Is that infinite from Sonic Forces? No I'm kidding, and I Who likes short shorts? I like short shorts, you know. <laughs> is this Yu-Gi-Oh? What the heck? I don't know what this is, but it looks interesting. Wow, okay, this, this, this has my attention. This has my attention.
What is this? It feels like I should know what this is, but I think it's something new. This looks pretty. This looks badass. I'm I'm, I'm kind of excited by this. This looks kind of badass. Video girl AI, I know that. Bayonetta, wait, what? Anarchy reigns. Okay, I'm happy. Anarchy reigns. Oh man, definitely gonna be. That's definitely gonna get pre-ordered right there. Um, platinum. Wow. Okay. Good job, guys. You got me excited right there. It looks good. It did. I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat is it an exclusive to Switch or what? Because if it's not, I'm gonna get it on PC. And speaking of Platinum, but if it is, I'm excited. I'm very curious about Bayonetta 3. Yes. Show something, please. Sure, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work. Show something. Forward, Show something. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Snap your fingers, it better be Bayonetta. I will slap you to the screen. I won't slap you to the screen. I want to be Bayonetta. I don't think it's Bayonetta. Okay, I see Link. I can tell it's Link by the ears. Um, what is this, though? Is it... Is it anime series I would love to see an anime series of Link if this is that new series that you're talking about on Netflix I'm down for this um anime series maybe ah uh. Well, if I gotta have a link game, this is better than anything. Um, it is kind of hard to lead off from Breath of the Wild, you know. That was the pinnacle of Zelda games. I mean, this is fine. Um, that's fine. I was just hoping it was an anime series or scary girl humming. Um, I was hoping it was um, Breath of the Wild sequel or anime. So, what did you think? Eh? At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on the Nintendo Switch. But who was asking for that? Like, I don't mind remakes sometimes, but, but who was asking for that? Remake good, make, I mean, it's a good game, but remake something like Unhinder, you know? I want to see a sequel to that, you know? Because he doesn't get, he hasn't been like, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a discussion for another day. Is that it? Well... This better be nothing. Well, is that it? Yeah. So it's gonna end right there. So we're just gonna pause right there and discuss uh, just for a split second. Um, not that great of a direct. Um, it was short notice, so I guess I shouldn't have been expecting anything big from this. But still, um, the only really big things, like I said, I saw were uh, um, Fire Emblem, the new mecha game. Um, like I said, Armor Core series, the Astro Chain. Did I get that wrong already? Whatever it's called, you know, that looks interesting. About Platinum, because Platinum always makes great games. I love Platinum. Um, looking forward to that. And uh, there was one more, Super Mario Maker 2. And that's pretty much it. There wasn't really anything. But like again, you shouldn't expect anything too big from this. But those are the only really big things for me. Um, I'm sad there was no Animal Crossing. There was no tease for new Pokemon. So, otherwise, it was just okay. Um, but I'm about to download that game and get on that. But, yeah, this Direct, <sighs> I was really getting off work praying that I saw, uh, like, Bayonetta or Animal Crossing. I was, like, super excited. But 
or even a teaser Pokemon. But you know, I'm guessing maybe we'll get something, something else in um, uh, I want to say probably April. No, they wouldn't want. Well, yeah, maybe April. You know, they'll come out with something else. Maybe March. We may get something in March. I just kind of want to see more news on Bayonetta, Pokemon, and stuff like that. You know, the big big titles. But that was okay. You know, I'll get this edited it up and it's chopped up. So by the time you see this part with me saying this, the video will be chopped up and stuff. So. That's it, guys. Um, yeah, not much else, you know. Um, but I'll get this up. Hopefully you see it. And we'll go from there. You know, I got more videos coming. And going to play that mech game and everything else. You know, and trim up some stream videos and stuff. So, as always, guys, I'll see you. And that's it for now, you know. All right. We're done. Bye. I got to go cook. <laughs>